Your dad wants you. Right now? What for? Don't know. He just said, go to the caravan now. But I'm busy. What happened to Rachel? Ozzy and Mum were having a good time at the fair. Everybody at the fair was having a good time. Try tea bags for a change. Tea bags? <laughs> I told you, Mum. She's taken her fortune, Chuggy. Oh, yes, of course. Rachel's Madame Ferrari now, isn't she? <laughs> oh, where is she? I've always wanted to have my fortune told. Well, now's your chance. Go on, Jean. She'd be really chuffed if you went in to see her. Right. Come on, Ozzy. We'll go in together. Where's my toffee apple? Oh, Ozzy. <laughs> Weedy little monkey. Come on. Sydney was gazing into Madame Varadi's crystal ball. Oh, where's Rachel? Oh, where's Rachel? Don't know. She's looking for her dad. She asked me to look after the tent. The budgie went too. <laughs> oh, what a pity. I wanted her to tell my fortune. Well, lady. I can tell you how to make your fortune. Oh, really? Easy. Sell this field to Mr. Turnbull. How did you know I own this field? Don't know. Oh, everybody knows it, don't they? Yeah, of course. It's a well-known fact. But how did you know Mum's been asked to sell it? Nobody else knows that. Well. Don't know. <laughs> Maybe I saw it in the crystal ball. <laughs> Having trouble, Sydney? Oh, no. No trouble. They're just looking for Madame Varadi, that's all. Yes, where is Rachel? Oh, the mysterious Madame Varadi. Ozzy saw something stuck to Steve's shoulder. Don't ask me where she would go. Really he picked it off. It was a parrot feather. Ozzy suddenly felt afraid for Rachel. What's the matter, Ozzy? I'm going to look for Rachel. Perhaps Spot knows where she is. Ozzy! Where are you off to? I'm looking for Rachel. Oh, but have you seen her? Well, she's in a tent. She's not. What? Me and Mum went to see her. She's not there. Sydney says she's looking for you. Oh, perhaps she's going back to the caravan. Come on, we'll have a look. <coughs> Rachel? You in here? Why are you in here? What have you done with Rachel, Captain? In a bed, smack his bottom. It's a bad smacky bottom. Well, she's not here. 
I suppose I'd better go and close down that tent of hers. I don't know, Ozzy. Girls. Is she Where here? Is she? No, Jean, she's not. Oh, well, she'll turn up soon, I expect. There's probably a very simple explanation. And well, that's quite enough from you. Go to sleep. <laughs> yes, and we must go home. Ready, Ozzy? Ozzy? Ozzy, are you all right? I don't know, Mum. Well, if you're feeling sick, young man, it serves you right for eating my toffee apple. Come on, now. Good night, Bert. Thanks for a lovely evening. Good night. Does it good to get out once in a while? If Mr Grant would only go to the fair and see how much fun it gives people, he'd soon tear up that petition of his. You're not very cheerful. Still feeling sick? I'm not feeling sick, Mum. Hmm. I can't think what Rachel's up to, can you? I don't think she's up to anything. Still, she ought to have told her dad where she was going. What's up, Mum? Oh, Ozzy, no! The shop was empty. All their stock had gone. There was nothing left. Good gracious! Mrs. Watson, what's happened? I'm afraid it seems as if we've been burgled, Mr. Grant, while we were out at the fair. Oh, they've certainly made a very thorough job of it, haven't they? I haven't checked the storeroom yet. No doubt that will be just as empty. But at least we have a good idea who did it, eh, Mrs. Watson? Have we? I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Grant, I... It must have been somebody from the fair, of course. You think those people are your friends, Mrs. Watson, but they're not. They must be laughing at you right now. Rachel's not laughing. She's disappeared. Has she indeed? How very interesting. Well, Mrs. Watson, I think you had better phone the police. <laughs> <laughs>